there. I uh, just wanted to make a little short one today and show you guys what I've been working on. So lately I've had an interest with uh, centrifugal compressors and I wanted to make myself one. And this is what I've come up with. So I got a 3D printer and I started 3D printing out some parts. I made this tiny little centrifugal compressor and this one doesn't really build up any pressure but I thought I'd show you it running anyway. It's kind of a cool little thing. It's more like a fan than anything else because it just has a tiny little impeller in it about like that little 3D printed one and I glued the housing to the motor from a draft inducer. Here we can see the motor right there and I just have it glued onto that housing and yeah of course I'm going to uh, put the link for those files in the description. Uh, actually the files for this compressor came from Thingiverse.com but I modified them to fit the motor from the draft inducer. And if you don't know what a, what a draft inducer is, the draft inducer is kind of like a fan that pulls exhaust out of a furnace so it looks like this. And as you know, some of you guys might know I work on furnaces. So you can get some of these motors off of these furnaces and they're really not the best but they're kind of small-ish motors and they're two pole motors so normally they're only supposed to go around 3600 RPM but they really don't mind going faster than that because they're so small it's unlikely that they're going to come apart so I took the motor off of one of these draft inducers and got the files from Thingiverse and kind of modified them so that one of those motors would fit. So to run the motor I got the good old variable frequency drive out and then the output of that variable frequency drive goes into a 2 to 1 ratio transformer. This is the transformer. And the black cable over there comes from the variable frequency drive and the orange cable here goes on to the motor. So when we arrive at the motor, the motor is normally rated for 120 volts and 60 hertz but through the variable frequency drive and the transformer I've got it running at uh, I've actually had it running up to a top frequency of around 390 hertz and 480 volts uh, because of the transformer that uh, boosts up the output voltage. Uh, but anyways, we're just going to check it out running. Thank you guys for watching and um, I do still plan on making an update about that uh, cascade cycle heat pump so I'll probably do that one soon anyways I hope you guys liked it and I'll see you next one